All right, I'm on hole number five of the Silver State Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the rookie division. Let's go to hole number five. Okay, this is a critical hole right here. Now, you can bring a three power ball and get up in here and do some overpower. And I'll, I'll, here's a mistake that I'm seeing a lot of people do. Okay, let's do, let's do distance. Let's look at the tee box area. So you got your tee box area here and you're hitting to this fairway pad trying to dribble it on on the other side. So what I'm seeing a lot of people do is they're taking the direct approach. So if you got, let's say you have a three power ball and you do a max overpower, your red line is right here. Okay, right, right there. And if you, I mean like your red line when you've got it fully overpowered. So you take the risk of clipping this rough. And so people are aiming at this rough right here, and you don't really want to be, if, you, if you're on this side right here, your trajectory is taking you towards the sand, and this side's very problematic. But I'm seeing people aim right towards this middle section because that feeds them off in the direction they're looking. Okay, your club has a thing called curl, and your ball has a thing called side spin. And instead of risking in this area right here where your overpower might actually put you in this rough, because I'm seeing a lot of people hit into the rough, they think that it's going to be fine, but then they just clip that rough right there. Look at how much deeper this side is over here. So instead of aiming towards the center where it's very, that's the shortest part of that fairway area, aim over here. Your ball guide's going to be going out like this. So you put on all the side spin, and I'm putting on about two back spin. So with two backspin, you can engage all of the side spin on the ball and get the ball to go like this. And you can also add a little bit of curl on if you think that you need to pick up the distance. And whenever you're using curl, you always want to, so we want to curl to the right. You want to move the ball a little bit further to the left to give yourself more room for that curl to engage. So instead of hitting towards this little, this spot where you don't have a lot of distance, you've got a, a lot more distance. I mean, look how much more distance you have over here. Those people that have clipped the rough right here, if they would have aimed towards this spot, engaged more of the side spin and a little bit of the curl, they give themselves a much better sh shot at feeding into the cup, and they're not pinching up against this sand when they try and put on that curl. So you're not taking the risk of getting pinched over here in this area right here. You're, you're engaging the biggest part of the fairway on the other side. So if you're using a three power ball or even a two power ball or a one power ball and you're trying to do this overpower shot, I think you've got a bigger fairway area over here on the left. So engage the left a little bit more and not aim towards the narrowest part of this fairway pad. I'm going to try and standardize this shot and try and make this shot as easy as humanly possible by bringing a berserker. And I'm going to bring an extra mile, and that should be all I need. Now, I've missed two putts. <laughs> yes, two putts on this. So I'm not, if I end up a little bit, if I end up on the fairway or on the fringe, I'm not going to be too upset about it. I have a, I've, the way this hole is going, I have a much better shot of chipping it in than I do of making the putt. And the putts haven't been like super hard or max overpower putts, but they're, for me, they're a long putt. So I want to get into that area right there. I want to engage the deepest part of the fairway. I'm going to try and give myself a great to the left or the right. 3-7 wind. So there's three. There's about 3-7. I'm going to put on just a little bit of curl. Hitting it perfect. Just trying to dribble up there. Now that's not quite as far as I would have liked to have gotten, but I can live with that. That's a makeable chip right there. Still got a lot of work to get done, but that is a makeable chip. And I think from that spot right there, um, the one full backspin was just a little bit too much. I need to add maybe half a bar and put on just a little teeny bit more curl. I clipped the rough right there. And if I had taken off maybe half a bar, and I, where I came in at it, if I would have came in a little bit to the right, 
would have needed a little, if I'd added more curl, I would have needed a little teeny bit more distance in order to not clip the rough over there. Let's see where our opponent lands. That's uh, not good. Okay, I'm going to try and run it up there. Okay, from this distance, I should get a little teeny bit of a wind effect. I'm going to split the difference. Go run on the. Need to hit it perfect. Hitting it perfect. Get in the hole. In the hole. Eagle. I like my chances there with that chip on better than the putts that I missed. And the putts that I missed, like I said, they weren't hard. I'm just not a really good putter. I don't have to take long putts very often, so I'm, I've never really been good at them. It's, I know that sounds crazy, but I've never really liked taking big putts. It's always better. I mean, we all, we've all had to take those long putts. Stuff happens, but it's always better to try and figure out how to... Uh, get closer to the pin so you don't have to take long putts than it is to try and figure out how to be better at long putts. Good luck in the tournament. All right, that was hole number five of the Silver State Tournament in the opening round of the Reiki Division. Thanks for watching.